It's going to be a really quick little uh, video just going over this. Uh, mainly I just want to show the inside <laughs> before this thing moves into its uh, permanent uh, home. Um, this is a new communications model NCS3230. This is a receiver switcher. Now I already have a microphone switcher that's right there. allows me to uh, run up to four different audio inputs. Uh, into four different radios, or you know, four different microphone setups into four different radios, which is nice here at the bench because I can use. You can see, I got a mic cord there. I've got other inputs on the back that run to that audio box right there, so I can run signal generators. I've got foot switches hooked up for the keying, so you know, my hands stay free because usually need both of those when I'm working on a radio. But uh, they also used to make this and I say used to make these because they no longer make either of them unfortunately um, I actually talked to them on the phone and uh, yeah they stopped making them because the price of making them had gone up and you know, a lot of people probably looking at oh, it's just a receiver switcher how much could it cost to make well yeah it's more it's it's in a big box for a reason there's actually a lot of crap inside of this thing and it's the same thing with the microphone switcher um, it's not just a couple push buttons that switch in some relays to send audio from here to there. Um, now the nice thing about this is it's you can basically hook up six radios or combinations of stereo and mono. So you know if you wanted to use stereo, that would take up two channels. But uh, it's uh, got record, you know, so you can select, you can also record, um, you can. Uh, so you can enable your recorder. So if your, uh, you know, tape, say tape recorder or whatever has a remote uh, enable feature, this has a jack on the back, which I'll show you that you can turn the tape recorder on and on and off from this unit. Even has a data cable you can hook up on the back of this. Um, manual Vox circuits, turn the speakers on and off. You can mute. That's going to be a really nice feature here at the bench. And what I want to use this for is get rid of a shitload of speakers I have all over the place because I've got speakers that I use at the bench, speakers that I have hooked up to shortwave radios, to scanners, to, you know, just I've, all these speakers that are hanging all over the blasted place. Now I need two speakers. Um, it's two of the ones I already have hanging up to the left and right of me. Um, so the Kenwood, uh, they're 100 watt speakers. Granted, I don't need 100 watt speakers. They just, they happen to sound really good. They're uh, actual automobile speakers, but it's what I'll be using. But I just like them because they sound really good. Um, but like I say, the nice thing is uh, I can select which ones I want to listen to. So, you know, I can, can enable channels. Um, I can listen to a mono signal coming out of a, you know, a ham radio or a CB radio that's mono. But I can listen to it on both speakers, so, you know, left or right. Um, it has another neat little feature, and I'll get into this in a lot more detail once I actually, because I had to order a lot of cables. <laughs> now that I have it, it played with it a little bit, and I realized, oh yeah, I need a shitload of RCA and eighth inch jack cables and all kinds of stuff to be able to interconnect everything now. But uh, my plan is is to hook up an iHome, so that'll take up two channels because that's stereo. I'll have a, a scanner, a uh, HF rig. Uh, or not a HF rig, a a, a a shortwave radio. So yeah, the stereo basically. The iHome will be on two channels, uh, a bench CB radio, uh, a shortwave rig, a scanner, and then the last channel I'll use at the bench for radios that I'm actually working on. But I'll be able to direct that all of that audio. To just two speakers. Now you can listen to everything at once. You can listen to all of them. And that's actually where this little button comes in. Like I say, I almost need to... I'll explain that once I get it hooked up. But it's kind of like a simulated center channel. Um, what this does is, is once you go into that mode, because this is microprocessor controlled, um, it actually simulates where a radio is. So if you have, were to have, let's say, six radios hooked up to this, it will sound like the far... The one channel will sound, it will only come out of the left speaker, only. And the other far, you know, the radio at the opposite end of the spectrum will only be coming out of the far right-hand speaker. And the farther, the closer you get, so like this speaker would come out of only the far right speaker. Once you get to this one, it's still mostly out of the far right speaker, but you're starting to get a little bit of sound out of your left-hand channel speaker. And as you move, and it's, but that simulates actually having 
six radio settings spread around you in a room, you know, kind of in a in an arc, you know, or a half moon in front of you. Um, that's kind of actually neat. Um, you know, you can, like I said, it just does so much. I really, like I said, I need to, it needs to be hooked up to several different things to, to show how it works, but I really like it. It's really nice. Um, like I said, it's really going to come in handy. It's going to clean up the bench, uh, and just make things so much more convenient for me to use. Um, so I, mainly what I wanted to show today was, was the inside. Uh, like I say, once it goes up in its home and I get all the cables hooked up to it, yeah, it's gonna, it's never going to be seen again. So today will be a basically interiors, you know, a look at it and the rear panel view. And then uh, once I actually get everything hooked up, I'll show how it actually works. But yeah, so you can see they really packed the circuitry in this little guy. So like I say, it's much more than just a switch box. There's the actual pick chip right there. And that is what... Of course, the camera's in the way. Can't get my head down here. Oh, let me just pull it back here. It's a PIC 16F870. So, but yeah, it's, man, it's just such a shame they stopped making these. Because once I found out, of course, just my luck. I mean, that's just the way things work for me. I find something that I want, and it's no longer made. You know, the story of my life. <laughs> Company makes some fantastic, marvelous product that works great, and I don't find out about it until it's no longer made yet. But, uh, like I say, I got one of those microphone switchers and uh, discovered these as well, that they had made these things. And I thought, oh, man, i got to have one of those, too. Because that, you know, that's just another, you know, piece of equipment that's really going to clean things up. Uh, now, one thing I can say is the company is still in business. So, if enough people see this and that, you know, microphone switcher and maybe this start bugging uh bugging this company remember new communication solutions um but start bugging them that hey man you should start making those mic switchers and receiver switchers maybe they'd start uh making them again because <laughs> uh just so well built well designed really, really nice layout so you know, here's the back panel so you have rca inputs for all six radios I've got processing for mixer in amplifier in here's your speaker out jacks so, you know, just a normal hookup, you had six radios, you want to hook it up to two speakers. You, you know, you'd hook up your radios here, and you'd hook up your pair of speakers right there. Bam, you're done. But the you know, data cable, recorder, audio, and control, that's what I was talking about, to control if you're using a, uh, uh, if your tape recorder has a remote control feature that you can turn it on and off, that's what that, you know, the re enable button on the front would allow, um, mute function and then uh, where the power hooks up this runs off 12 volts uh, or you know 13.8 works just fine but uh yep really nice little unit so i might actually want a second one of these man if i if i ever see another one of these come up i didn't get this cheap and <laughs> knew we were close to cheap now it was a little bit cheaper than what they wanted for them new um i think these things were i think they were over 450 bucks uh back when they made these uh, you know, when they were still selling them, but uh, I think it's well worth it. And another nice thing about both this and that microphone switcher up there is it's configurable. Uh, the mic switcher has a lot, lot more so because because just because of microphones and what you might be switching or not switching, but has header plugs. You know, makes you know there's what a set there. There's some headers down here. I think there's yeah, some more, more back here, but. Uh, you know, that microphone switcher, it has a huge block here. And what those headers are for is you put the jumpers across there to program what each of the pins to the microphone are for. So you can program basically any microphone to work with any radio. Um, but uh, so there's just a quick preview of the new communication solutions. And right there is the model number, NCS3230. So... Like I say, it's probably going to be a week, maybe, or so, somewhere around there until I get uh, get all my cables. Um, you know, I've got the, the speaker cables, they're actually already fine, but I did need to order a few RCA to an uh, eighth inch, and uh, I could make all these cables up. Honestly, it's just a lot easier, easier just to order cables that already have the molded plugs already on the end. I mean, just to tinker around with. Hell, I don't even know where in the hell I sat it here on the bench. I had had to make another little jumper wire up. Where the hell did I put it? Good lord, it done grew feet and walked off already. I had a 
because I had a couple radios hooked up to this. I made up just some really short jumpers with RCA on one end and eighth inch mono jacks on the other. But uh, tried it out. Oh man, it works great. Had my actually had my eye home hooked up to it. You know, dug out the you know pair long pair of double RCA jacks because the eye home has a stereo uh, eighth inch jack output. I had had it hooked up to two channels on this, and yeah, it works really well. Like I say. Because I use that to listen to either my iPod or uh, I listen to AM radio during the day, the news. Ah, here's that little cable. Yeah, I'd made up two of these. But uh, like I, said, I need some of these that are really long to be able to reach from the radios over to this switcher box. So, like I said, just easier to order. Order a bunch of 6, 8, and 10 footers, and I don't have to worry about making anything up. So, uh, there you go. There's just a preview of this and like I say in a week or so um, I'll get uh, get this slid into where it's going to be living the rest of its life eh, at least for a while until I redesign the bench again and uh, <laughs> and uh, get it hooked up and then we can actually play around with it. I can show you know basically everything hooked up to it and like I say how much easier it's going to make life. Another nice thing is like I say the mute feature that's so nice because Right now, if I've got a CB monitor radio on, and I got the radio on, or you know, listening to you know music on from the iPod or something, and I've got another radio, yeah, I've got remote controls. I got to reach over, turn this radio off, turn this radio, off, especially if the phone rings or something. Now I can have, I can be listening to six things at the same time. If something happens where I need quiet, boink, mute, dead, dead silence. That, that right there alone is a fantastic feature, the mute all. That's going to be, be really, really nice. So look forward to, like I say, in a week or so, and uh, should have a operational video of this.